Britain's Royal Air Force, one of the most modern air forces in the world, is today unique in still operating a small fleet of World War II aircraft. This special unit, today known as the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight, preserves and displays the aircraft that helped Britain win seven decades ago. Unusually for antique display aircraft, the pilots, flight crews and ground crews are all serving officers and men and women of today's Royal Air Force and the flight is based at one of the UK's frontline jet fighter stations, RAF Coningsby, in Lincolnshire. Let's examine the World War II aircraft still operated by the flight. It's incredible to realise that in 2018, the RAF still operates seven Spitfires, two Hurricanes, a Lancaster bomber and a Dakota transport, alongside its latest F-35 Lightnings and the Tornado. The oldest aircraft in the flight is a Supermarine Spitfire 2A P7350 that actually flew in the Battle of Britain in 1940. Spitfire Mark 5B AB910 escorted convoys in the Battle of the Atlantic. She took part in bombing raids on the German battleships Scharnhorst and Gneisenau and later in the 1942 Dieppe raid. And she flew cover patrols over the Normandy beaches during D-Day. Spitfire LF-9E MK356 was built in 1944 with clip wings for optimised low-level flight. She flew fighter sweeps over occupied France in the lead-up to D-Day with the Royal Canadian Air Force, later used as a gate guardian until the aircraft was recovered and refurbished in 1992. The longest serving aircraft in the Battle of Britain Memorial flight is Spitfire PR-19 PM-631, built towards the tail end of World War II but did not see any action. The aircraft joined the flight in 1957. The flight has another Spitfire PR-19 PS-915, seen here in company with a modern RAF Lightning. This aircraft served post-war in West Germany as a reconnaissance plane and in 1987 British Aerospace returned her to flying condition. The last Spitfire is a Mark 16 TE311 acquired by the flight in 2002 initially for spares. It was added to the flight in 2007 and became airworthy in 2012. The flight also operates two Hawker Hurricane Mark II Cs. LF-363, the last hurricane to enter RAF service, and PZ-865, the last hurricane ever built. LF-363 has starred in the films Angels 1-5, Reach for the Sky and The Battle of Britain. The largest aircraft operated by the flight is a Lancaster B-2 bomber, PA-474, acquired in 1973. It is one of only two airworthy Lancasters in the world today. Built in mid-1945, the aircraft has appeared in the films Operation Crossbow and The Guns of Navarone. Most famously, the Lancaster was the type used in the Dam Busters raid in 1943, and PA-474 occasionally appears in the markings of a 617 Squadron Lancaster that took part in this dramatic raid. Often flanked by one of the flight's Spitfires and a Hurricane, the Lancaster makes many appearances at air shows and state occasions throughout Britain and Europe each year. The other big aircraft in the flight is a Douglas Dakota ZA-947, built in Long Beach, California in 1942. The aircraft served with the United States Army Air Force until it was transferred to the Canadians. The Dakota left Canadian service in 1971 and found its way to the flight in 1993 as a support aircraft and tailwheel trainer for the Lancaster. Since 2013, the Dakota has also been a display aircraft. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, please do subscribe. Many thanks.